in terms of being excited about the fintech trends that we see in the market, I would say let's take a step back and talk about what we see at large. And that's really about telling a story that goes way beyond brand awareness and way beyond uh, demand generation. So marketing has transformed and is now very much talking about the brand itself, the values, the culture within your companies and your employees. I think a lot of the fintech companies are starting to diverge into two distinct camps. One camp is focused on how do I enable either banks or retailers to deliver new products and services to their customers, whereas another classification of fintechs are trying to compete against them. It's going to be very interesting over the next few years. I believe that fintech is such a broad uh, theme that I would like to start to separate into two. The ones who work with banks and the ones who compete with banks. We have seen uh, a lot of competition for banks, robo-advisors, but uh, also challenger banks. All of them in the end have made banks or have helped consumers to get better experience, cheaper, and have made banks overall better. Same time, then you have fintechs who work with banks, and that is something which banks benefit from. And again, the consumer gets a better experience because fintechs are specialized in, the, in what they do, and banks benefit without having to put the money into that. So consumers, both with, through competitions on the one hand side between banks and fintechs, and on the other hand side, between the cooperation between fintechs and banks, benefit. PropTech's a really booming space right now. If you look back a couple of years ago, there was almost no venture capital flowing in to PropTech. And today, it's a non-trivial percentage, probably 10% uh, if you look at over the last year. So, so one trend is simply, it's finally gotten the attention of a lot of the venture capitalists. So, and then, when you, what does that mean? It means now that you're seeing a lot of businesses focusing on technology and how it could transform their business. So it, it's not only businesses that are startups, but also you're seeing a lot of incumbent players uh, looking at financial technology, or prop, prop tech within their, within their business. And how are some of the trends that are, that are happening in some of the startups being applicable to their businesses? One of the things that's happening in the FinTech space that I'm most excited about right now is an orientation of founders and companies of investing in actual outcomes for the users of their product, focused less specifically on just selling or increasing the number of users, but actually trying to understand what the actual outcome is for using their products. And I think that's a really an important innovation in financial services that's largely been left out for the last cycle. The trends that I'm seeing are really focused around AI, machine learning, things that are really trying to help ease friction within the industry. Um, I think you know it, it's really exciting to find the consumer focus in finance and find ways to really um, drive data science to help the consumer um, have a better experience, but also get the right product at the right time. The trends I'm seeing in the fintech space that are most exciting to me are a couple of things. Number one, a lot of the things that we were talking about here five, ten years ago have now come to fruition. You're seeing people in the coffee shop paying with Apple Pay and with Google and things like that, all with their cell phone. I used to work at Google and I remember when Google Wallet launched and they had this ad that said, Mommy, what's a wallet? And that's actually coming to fruition, it's actually true. So a lot of the dreams are becoming reality, even though you know, we're all getting boiled slowly in it, so it feels like you know we're not jumping out and really recognizing what's happening, but if you take a step back, to me that's the first thing that's very exciting. The second thing that's really exciting is that uh, FinTech isn't just a bunch of small companies trying to disrupt this massive industry. You're seeing this uh, coalescence between smaller companies and, and, and startups, many of which are getting much bigger, and the big guys are get, getting on board with the whole fintech movement as well, and they're meeting in the middle, and there's a lot of interplay happening between the small guys and the big guys. We're seeing it with what we're doing at Peer Street. And the third thing I think is really exciting is the fact that you have a lot of, um, a lot less noise in the industry. So a lot, for a lot of the, I don't know, last few years you saw some big technologies taking a lot of spotlight who have sort of moved aside. And at the same time, you've seen a bit of a shakeout where entire industries, it wasn't clear who the winners were going to be or what was going to happen. Now the winners are starting to emerge and some of the kind of pretenders have fallen off and the ones that weren't going to make it. And so all of those things happening at once, to me, is very exciting because where we're headed next is going to be that much more exciting. Well, we're very excited about open banking. We think this is going to be a big enabler for all the fintechs. 
So right in Europe um, and in the US is making a difference and we're looking forward to this extending to Latin America.